Welcome to Advanced Derivative Modeling and Portfolio Theory, which is MSING068. My name is Wei Cui. Um, I joined UCL Economics Department in 2013, and I will be your instructor for this course. So what is this course about? Um, I will have a very short presentation. It will provide a very brief intro to the subject of the matter of this course. And then I would tell you the details of the lectures and tutorial classes. And finally, I will give you some information about the coursework and an assessment. So this course is really about the modern theory of portfolio choice and as a pricing in multi-period setting under uncertainty. It is a continuation of asset pricing one. So you should have taken asset pricing one in term one before coming to this course. And we will basically focus on three basic constraints of asset pricing. The first one is absence of arbitrage. The second one is single agent optimality. And the third is market equilibrium. So we, we will use these three basic con concepts to, to price assets in, in reality and giving special attention to derivatives. So absence of arbitrage is very easy to understand. If there's arbitrage opportunities, investors will chase that. And then arbitrage will go away. The second one is you need to have someone who tried to maximize their utility and choosing an uh, optimal portfolio. So that's the single agent optimality. And finally, we will have uh, demand and supply equalized in the market. So that's market equilibrium. With this three implication, we will have a key concept emerge, which is the state price or a positive discount factors, one for each state and for each time. Some of you might heard of this concept, which is the stochastic discount factor, and we'll use this concept to price all kinds of assets, including derivatives. So what are derivatives? A derivative is any security whose price is determined by the value of another asset. And this asset is called the underlying asset. Therefore, the changes in the price of the underlying asset will have an effect on the derivative's price. Why deriv derivatives will exist is because people use that to hedge risks or to speculate. And we will use very basic tools to learn how to price these derivatives. Let me go to the details. First, we will have an overview of stochastic calculus and how to use that to price derivative. Um, we will go into detail like Ito's lemma and uh, Brown emotions and such. So it's quite math intensive. Then we will cover the simple but very powerful Black-Scholes formula, which is the formula used to price European call option. And this formula earns Scholes and Mertens and Nobel Prize. So it's very useful and very important. Then we will talk about models of uh, term structure that focus on fixed income securities. And you will have uh, uh, derivatives on uh, interest rate. Further, we will cover even more advanced derivatives like swaps, forward futures, and again, some other types of, of options like American call options or put options. But all these four subjects focus on single factor models, and we will then move to multi factor models that derivatives of assets will be influenced by several factors, not just one factor. And if we have time, we will go to frictional finance in the sense that the three constraints we talk about to price derivatives and assets will be relaxed. What about coursework and assessment? So this course will be delivered in term two. As I said in the beginning, you will have to take asset pricing one in term one before coming to this module. The modules will be delivered in 10 weeks, 
and each week we have three hour lectures. In the end, you will be assessed by a two hour exam, which consists of 80% uh, of your final grade. The other 20% will be dependent on your problem sets. The key reference are dynamic asset pricing theory, written by Dara Duffy, and finally derivative markets, written by Robert McDonald. So to conclude, um, this is a pretty math intensive course, but it's very useful. It helps us to understand how to price derivatives in the real world. And I hope it provides some useful information. The key I want to summarize is that we will use the three basic constraints of asset pricing and to use that to price derivatives. The three constraints, let me just repeat once more, is no arbitrage, single agent optimality, and finally, market equilibrium. Thanks for listening.